Recently, we looked at why Darth Bane would never have allowed Darth Maul to use the lightsaber combat form known as Juyo, or Form 7 as recognized by the Jedi Order. Although Sidious knew that Maul had troubles containing his emotions during lightsaber duels, he nevertheless allowed his apprentice to use Form 7 despite the fact that it was a style that required the practitioner to give themselves over to their emotions, feeding them as they ignited their hatred, fury, and fear. While it isn't clear if Sidious completely considered this potential threat, we know for certain that Darth Bane was aware of it, and thus wouldn't let an apprentice like Maul use a style that could become his own worst enemy. But this video brought with it a number of great questions within the comment section, and chief among them was this. If Bane wouldn't train Maul in Form 7, what lightsaber style would the creator of the Rule of Two choose for Maul? In this video expose, we'll follow up on this question and focus on how Bane would train Maul in lightsaber combat. Before we get to lightsaber combat forms, we need to first look at whether Bane would train Maul in the use of a double-bladed lightsaber over a traditional single-blade weapon. Given that it's the lightsaber variant Maul is most notable for, and was also the lightsaber Bane trained his own apprentice Darth Xana in, one might think that it would only be natural that Bane would continue Maul's use of a double-bladed lightsaber. But I would have to disagree. Despite this being true, we have to consider that Darth Bane was fully aware of the fact that a two-bladed lightsaber did not inherently provide their users with an advantage. In fact, in many ways, they offered just the opposite. Bane was taught and given private instruction by the Sith Lord Kassim, the Sith Blademaster who wasn't just the greatest Sith lightsaber duelist, but perhaps the greatest in the galaxy during his era. From the Blademaster, Bane learned that in actual practice, the double-bladed lightsaber was more limited than the traditional single blade. It was less precise, required longer sweeping movements that left one vulnerable, and also didn't transition well into quick stabs or thrusts. Not only that, yes there was potential for more damage, but the weapon was difficult to master. As explained to Bane by Kasim, it really only offered an advantage over inexperienced duelists unfamiliar with the variant. But any decent lightsaber user would know that there wasn't much to defending against the two blades and penetrating its defenses. If you knew one blade's location, you knew exactly where the other was. For this reason, Bane never chose to master the two-bladed lightsaber himself, and I don't think he'd pass on its tenets to Maul. But you might be asking, non-canon expert, if Bane knew of these weaknesses, why did he train Darth Xana with the two-bladed lightsaber? Wouldn't that alone show that Bane trains Maul in this variant? There's really only one reason why Bane didn't train Xana in the traditional lightsaber. Bane was worried that his apprentice's small size didn't lend itself to using overpowering offensive focus strikes in combat. Bane saw Xana as more suited for a defensive style, and thus trained her in the most defensive form, Form 3. The addition of a second blade was for the sole purpose of allowing her to create an impenetrable defensive shield, using two blades to defend against her opponents. Only after her opponents exhausted themselves through each blow would Xana begin her attack. And even then, Bane focused more so on attacks using her gifts and Sith magic, not primarily lightsaber offense. Thus, for Bane, Xana's style specifically required the use of a double-bladed lightsaber. But given that he understood the limitations of the weapon, and combined with the fact that as we'll see, it really won't be necessary for Maul style, Bane would train his apprentice Maul with the traditional single-bladed lightsaber. So then which lightsaber combat form would Maul be trained in by Bane? It's clear that Bane thought that a Sith was best in their element when on the offensive and attacking. As stated by Bane in the Book of Sith, the dark side supplied Sith with strength and power, and these attributes had to be utilized. In answering this question, we won't just completely change Maul's attributes. Like most Sith, Maul was better when on the offensive, utilizing his natural aggression, strength, and speed. And it wouldn't be likely that Bane would recreate an apprentice in Maul that was solely defensive-minded or conservative in his approach. Therefore, it's most likely that Bane would train Maul in Ataru, also known as Form 4. Form 4 was arguably the most aggressive form of lightsaber combat, with the user constantly on the offensive, utilizing a combination of strength, speed, and agility, and augmenting their attacks with the Force. 
With Ataru, Bane would recognize that Maul would get all of the attacking elements present with Form 7, but not the negative emotional side effects that were a threat to him. Maul's speed and ability to incorporate acrobatics makes Form 4 much more likely than Bane's own Form 5 style of Gem So. Bane had respect for Sith who could utilize speed and acrobatics within their lightsaber abilities. The powerful attacks of Gem So were perfect for Darth Malgus, Darth Vader, and Darth Bane himself. But Maul could win without solely overpowering his opponent. In Form 4, Maul had an extremely offensive style that closely mirrored the elements of Juyo, and he would be able to further rely upon his speed, precision, and acrobatics to benefit greatly with this style. But we can't just stop at Ataru. Bane would demand much more from Darth Maul than just pure offense with the lightsaber. Bane was also a strong proponent of defense during a duel when it was necessary. He wasn't just blinded by the need for constant offense. For Bane, duels could be lost, and to prevent defeat, a true practitioner had to be good on defense. Further, he was a strong proponent of using force attacks during a duel. In a great quote from the Book of Sith, Bane states, You are a Sith Lord, not merely a fighter who knows how to hold a blade. The Force has given you the tools to defeat your enemies. During combat, the dark side crawls beneath your skin and electrifies the air surrounding you. If you fail to channel it during these moments, you are unworthy of the Sith title. This wasn't mere bravado from Bane, as both he and his apprentice Xana were immensely powerful in applying force attacks during battle. Given Bane's respect for defensive elements, we might think that Maul would be trained in a hybrid of Ataru and Shin. Bane was a big fan of Shin, as this variant within Form 5 worked best with his Gem So, a needed feature of his strong style. While the first Form 5 variant Gem So offered Bane powerful offensive attacks and counterattacks through reliable defensive maneuvers that could turn an opponent's attack back on them, the second Form 5 variant Shin offered highly focused defensive skills that were needed during times of recovery or to assemble a new strategy. A combination of Ataru and Shin seems like it would be the perfect duo for Bane to teach Maul. But I think there's a form that helps solve both pieces to this puzzle. The addition of more defensive elements, and also the efficient use of force attacks. This is the use of Nyman, also known as the Moderation Form and Form 6. Form 6 itself was a hybrid style, where elements of Forms 1 through 5 were combined into a single form. Of course, this was a generalized form that sought out a more balanced approach to lightsaber combat, where only the basics of each preceding style were focused on. Although it was a form that failed to provide a significant advantage, it also didn't leave its users with serious vulnerabilities. Form 6 would therefore provide Maul with the defensive elements that any apprentice of Darth Bane would be taught. Maul would have the knowledge of the basic defensive elements of Form 3 and Form 5, allowing him to rely upon them when a duel required it. Form 6 wouldn't take away from Maul's offensive focus Form 4, but rather would complement it perfectly, allowing him to benefit from additional defensive knowledge. But Nyman was perfect for another reason. It was the perfect style in which to incorporate force-based attacks during combat, and thus, Form 6 wouldn't just allow Maul to apply greater defensive techniques, but also to channel the dark side and apply force attacks during the fury of a duel. We know Darth Sidious was a master of Form 6 and passed its techniques on to his apprentice Maul, which he did utilize. Thus, it isn't a far stretch for Maul to once again utilize these techniques in his training under Bane. With a basic understanding of Form 6, Maul would be able to use simple and powerful force attacks during a lightsaber duel, from force pushes and throws to force lightning. Therefore, given Darth Bane's approach to lightsaber combat and Darth Maul's existing attributes, I'm confident that Bane would train Maul in lightsaber combat utilizing a single blade and a hybrid style of Ataru and Nyman. These styles would allow Maul to utilize an aggressive, offensive style that combined his strength and speed, but at the same time, allow him to fall back on the basics inherent in the other popular styles. And finally, as Bane understood was necessary for any true Sith Lord, Maul would also benefit from a style that allowed him to channel the dark side during combat and unleash powerful force attacks on his opponent. So there we have it, the lightsaber styles Maul would be trained in if he was the apprentice of Darth Bane. 
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For the greatest Nyman practitioner ever.